and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin Odermatt and today we are going to look at something which I am really passionate about. I'm going to show you a little small routine, an easy routine, but what we are going to try is to do it clean because you really don't have to do anything hard to make it nice. You can do the most simple thing if you straighten your legs, if you use little grips and that's the thing I'm passionate about. Eliminate all the unnecessary grips and things, even easy things will look super beautiful. So, but before we start, subscribe to my channel, share it with others so more people can watch the tutorials, more people can become better aerialists and our community is growing. You can leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'm super happy to answer and I'm also happy to see who is using the tutorials, how it's going for you. So anything, please leave it below. And let's go to the routine. We will start this routine with our hands at 11 and one o'clock and we will slide back into one knee. So this is our starting position. And then you will straighten your front leg. So push your knee into the hoop to straighten it. It's kind of not just straightened, but if you push your leg into the hoop, your leg will straighten and you can bend the back knee a bit and look over your shoulder or look back, look up. Just make it a nice position. And then the next step will be that you are taking your back leg and you are crossing it behind the hoop here. So it's not in front of the hoop. You are lifting it over your other leg and crossing it behind the hoop. So this is what happens next. And then you kind of pull yourself up. You see, I still have both hands on the position I had them. I haven't changed any hands and I'm pushing my legs together almost, but I'm sliding them down a bit. So my butt is going to the back side there. And then I release my back hand and I place it under the front. This is basically the hardest part of the whole routine. This moment when you're having your legs straight here, straighten them really, slide them even more down. And when you feel safe enough that you can let go, you go over here and you place the hand under. So now you have done almost like a twist. You're sliding your legs even more down and get your head through. I'm still holding my hands in the same position and I'm leaning backwards a little bit. My hands haven't changed anything. The leg which is in the front is going to start the next movement. So I'm looking at this leg and it's turning outwards. So from here, I'm really like, you see that my leg has gone all the way down. I'm not on my knee, I'm here on my butt. And my stomach is almost turning towards the hoop. That's the most important. And then my leg is starting to turn. Like my big toe is going down to the floor and my other leg is just following along the hoop over and I'm sliding down. And then I can take my hand, which is free and put it over the hoop. And there we have the first position. Release my other hand, which has been between the legs, release it, bend both legs and hold the position. This is number one. From there, you will straighten the legs both. You can grab it, release the hand, which has been over in the elbow, hang over the hoop and push your body against your legs like this. From there, again, the hand which has been grabbing late, which has been hanging over the hoop, is going to the hoop. My other hand is going back between my legs. I'm trying to push myself a little bit over because you can see I'm more on one side. So grab as far over as you can. And then you take this leg, you can thread it to the middle, slide a little bit more over, straighten the legs and come up to a balance. You can hold here if you feel you need that. For now, you can take your legs a bit down. You don't have to have them super, super high. So have them a little bit down. That is easier to keep the balance. You hold there. And if you can, you can release. The hoop is about on your bones. So the point which is most uncomfortable, but that's actually the point where you have the best balance. From there, you are going to decide to go to one side. I'm going to go to this side, which means my hand, which is behind here, is grabbing as high as possible. My other hand is crossing over my stomach and grabbing beside. And I am pulling with this bottom hand, pulling, turning my body, switching this hand up, placing the other hand down and coming into an Amazon, front Amazon. You can release this hand and you hang there. This hand is pushing away. So I'm pushing my body into that direction and I'm pretty stable. I'm hanging here in my armpit. You can do with your leg what you want, whatever you feel is comfortable. 
And then from there, your hand, which is free here, lean a little bit back. You place your elbow here so you can push yourself a bit back and grab. That's easier. If you're here, you feel like you can't really grab. But if you lean back, you slide your hand up. You can actually bend your legs and place them in a little package on the hoop. So place your ankles against the hoop and your bottom hand can now grab your legs. And you're in a little package. You can spin there nicely if you want to spin. <laughs> That's step number two. The next thing will be that you are releasing this hand again. If you need to, you can hold here a bit. You're straightening your legs, pushing your legs out and coming into a mermaid position. From there, you take your top leg, you can hang it down only, you can grab it, going into, if you, grab, if you pull it to your leg, it looks super bendy. Um, so there you can actually do what you want to make it look nice. And from there, you turn, bend your leg basically, grab with the opposite hand and get your leg under the hoop through into a delisha. If you want, you can go into opposite delisha, straighten your leg. And there you have the entire routine. This was the entire routine. Now you saw it twice, one time in a flow, the second time you saw it with me trying to explain all the pieces. When you work on this now, take it piece by piece, take one or two movements, put them together, try to be precise. So your work will be to eliminate all the unnecessary moving, wiggling, hand grips. So try to clean it up, look at it, film yourself, look at it and see how many hand grips do you really need? Do you need to grab twice? Do you need to pull one more time extra? Where can you straighten your legs or have it bent because you want to have it bent? So this will be the work. This is a great one to just make it smooth. Like for me, the most important is to be decided. You have to know your next step. So you have to know after this comes that, and then you know where to go and you try to go there. And hoop is painful in the beginning or always again. So try to, even if it hurts, try to keep a position, try to be like clean with it. And sometimes if you straighten your leg or if you really activate your muscles, it actually hurts less than if you are hanging there and feeling all the pain and you are all soft and hanging on the hoop. So work on this, take it as a, as a challenge to make it as smooth as possible. Put it on spin, that will be another challenge. Just take a small, small, small spin and there you have it. And then tag me. My name is Karen Odermatt Coach. You find me on Instagram and trust me, that work will never stop, never end. This is the same for me as it is for you. I'm working on that every day, cleaning up things, eliminating unnecessary hand grips. And yeah, I'm really happy you're here. I hope this tutorial is giving you some ideas, some inspiration and helps you to become a little bit cleaner in your work. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye.